spring ball before September 3rd. What would that one be? Um, blocking. I'll give you two. Okay. Blocking is one thing. And two things, just trying to help the team any way I can, get better special teams. Trying to be a guy that I might not start, but if I'm a backup on a special team, I've got to be locked in and ready to go and help this team win because you never know when, when it's going to be your turn. So. Uh, last question about special teams. Um, have, have you gotten any more work in the turn game or the game? Where, where are you fitting in? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of that guy for punt team that, I mean, if, if something happens, I can go out there and punt. And uh, so that's good to have, I guess. And then punt return, just working back there some, working on the front line some, and just kind of trying to work in anywhere I can to help the team win. Thanks. Hunter, I think last year you probably caught a lot of people off guard when you came onto the field and made such a big splash. How have you improved so that you can kind of make up for not taking people by surprise anymore? Yeah, um, I think it definitely helps that Mike and Tay are on both sides of the game. And so if they double cover him, then I'll, I'll have one-on-one. -on -one. But um, just, just continue putting the work, every, work in every day and trying to get better every single day. It's just helping with confidence. It's nice knowing that the DBs and Linebackers, they can't really double team anybody on this offense because there's yeah. too many weapons. Yeah, yeah, it's nice, but um, at the same time, if they do, we still got to go make the play. It's not like it's a. I mean, I think sometimes we get into, oh, if you double team them, we'll throw it here and it's going to work out. But we still got to, we still got to run the route, throw the ball. A lot of things have to happen, and we got to. That happens in practice. We got to go out there and, and make it happen in practice. How did the the wide receivers match up against the DBs today? I felt like we did good. Um, we didn't have as many reps in the scrimmage, but. Um, yeah, I, mean, I feel like we didn't have too many drops, and uh, the DBs are, are definitely getting better. Um, and I know Trayvon and Kayvon are young, but they're continuing to improve. So. Yeah. You probably already asked about this, but I know you had a hamstring yeah. last week. You know, what happened with that, and do you feel like you're all back 100%? Yeah, it's funny because today is, is probably the first time I felt back, back to normal. Um, I, I heard it back in the spring, just kind of tweaked it again. And uh, I think it was a blessing for me because I, I don't know if I really have a sense of urgency as I do now. I'm missing those three or four days of practice. That okay, the season on us, we got to go. I got to pay attention to the details and 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 not be complacent. And, and every every practice is a game a game attitude. So. When you're sitting on the sidelines and you see all those guys like our Davis mm -hmm. and Mike and Dion out there, does it kind of make you wake up and say, "And I got to compete today"? Yeah, guy? yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I think Chris Sweet talks about all the time that if you if you don't come to compete in our uh, practice every day, you're going to get exposed. And, uh, that definitely happens. So. I hear you've been working with punt returners a lot. You know, what what have you been trying to learn at that position? And what do you think you can bring at that spot? I think just being reliable and, and to make good decisions back there. I think we gave up like 130 yards off of uncatchable ball or balls that hit hit in front of us and just rolled back. So catching those. Just making good decisions back on the 10 yard line. You think you've got your kind of your strength in that area, just being reliable and catching that ball? Um, I definitely can improve. Um, and I'm also working on, on the front line of punt return and trying to hold up guys because I know if no one holds up, you're not going to be able to turn. So if, if Ray Ray's going to be the guy, Kay's going to be the guy, whoever's going to be the guy, um, I'm going to work the best I can to hold them up. I know last time I talked to you, you said you were working a lot on your, your blocking. You feel like you've been getting consistently better over the course of the game? I think that helps. Um, I think the hamstring took me out a little bit, but but I think I'm getting back and getting better at that. Oh what do you think are the things you need to do now to put yourself in that position where you're really contributing to the offense week one? Um, yeah, just continue to get better at blocking and uh, doing the little things right and come out every day and do it like a game. So. Do you feel like having all that talent around you on the depth chart at receivers made you better? Yeah, for sure. I mean, competitive depth, um, when you have great guys around you, you're going to get better. And so every single day is a, a work mentality where you got to get better or you're going to get left behind. So. What is your assessment of the capabilities of this offense right now? Um, I think for us, we're just trying to win the game. Mm -hmm. um, I know we had some, some guys that played in Nebraska back in the 80s who won a couple national championships and they came and talked about dominating. And 